Let, let's talk to this man. I destroyed the poison supplies before they could reach Elise. Well, that's good, but the witch is still out there. Nobody is really safe. I'm not safe. You think Xerxes was ever safe? Leonidas and his Spartans wanted him dead. His own mother would betray him with the <laughs> chance. Xerxes asking for safety. You're right, the king of Persia would never grovel. He'd crush his enemies before they could execute their plans. I'm glad you see it that way. You should get back to Thespis. All right. And thank you. Xerxes will rule at last. All Happy right. to have helped, Your Majesty. Ha! Majesty. Curse of Fame. All right. So how far we gotta go? Man, go on horseback or just fast travel? I'd rather fast travel, so we're gonna do that. All right, we're almost done with this quest. Come on. Horse sleeping. Who's talking so loudly outside? Seriously. Showtime. All right, let's see how this play goes. I swear to gosh, I better be allowed to play Leonidas, because this man is not even a true heir, the king of Sparta. He is a fraud! I don't want to be spotted here. Alright, yeah, 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 I don't want to be spotted. I am not there anymore. Let's go to the play. Onwards to the play! To the play! Okay, here we go. That works. What's up, guys? Why so sad? Cassandra, my muse, my helper, the one who saves my posterior. I require your assistance one last time. You've got all your actors, Thespis. Your audience is sated. So what's the problem now? Leonidas himself is the problem. Picture it. I was rehearsing a monologue, brandishing my shield, encouraging my soldiers. Come back with your shield! Or under it! I believe that's with your shield or on it. No, no, I'm sure it's under it. But just as I gestured with my shield, I slammed it into my toe. And now I wow. can barely stand, let alone act. It's a nice shame job. we have to cancel the play after so much work, Thespis. We are not cancelling the play. We'd have to give back people's drachmi. The show must go on. My Leonidas is right in front of me. What? what? Me? I'm not, not an actor. Good. And I'm no general, but on stage I am. Think of it. You could bring the great man's memory back to life. He could live again through you. He is in my blood. It's my destiny. I'll play Leonidas. Oh, that's nice. So, let's do a quick run through of your lines. You already heard the first part. Come back with your shield. Or under it. On. On it. The next part is directed at Xerxes. The Persians. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods in wine. I'm pretty sure Leonidas said drench the gods with their blood. I know what I wrote. Finally, when you confront the traitor, today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Leonidas battled for all of Elas and its freedom, not just Sparta. I'm sure you'll get it right. If you like, go rehearse with the rest of the cast. But if you feel ready, to the stage with you. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to start right now. I got, I got it all in my head now. Wow, full house. <laughs> nice masks, dude. Welcome to our play, the heroic tale of King Leonidas and his three, three hundred Spartans. Spartans. Behold, your Leonidas. Thank wow, you nice me. mask. <laughs> nice Leonidas mask, Cassandra. Was not only a king of Sparta, but the savior of all Greeks. All right, so let's see what we got here. 
I am the Anikis, lieutenant of the great Leonidas. I will serve him until Hades himself uh, comes to claim him. My commander, my king, we are outnumbered and outmaneuvered. What can I do to help? What does this Spartan general have to say to his right-hand man? Come back with your shield, or on it. All right. The cheering, I guess. I am Xerxes, king of the Persians. Your puny gods mean nothing to me. <laughs> what is up with these masks? You Spartan cur. I will grind you and your people under my sandal. How will Leonidas reply to his mortal enemy, Xerxes? The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood. All right, we're getting cheers. We're getting cheers. <laughs> All right, I'm a Fialtis, exile and traitor. You know I'll bring doom to the Spartan army by revealing a secret goat path to the Persians. Those stuck-up Spartans won't stand a chance. Wow, nice job, dude. I've defeated your plans, Leonidas. What are you going to do about the Fialtis? The traitor dares talk back to his king. What will the Leonidas say to that? To that? Tomorrow, the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. I guess I did pretty well. Great job, my friend. Enjoy the crowd's reaction, because I don't think Thespis will be happy you went off script. I think I can take care of him. Definitely, sir. You want to go, Thespis? <laughs> we'll go. <laughs> I can't believe it. You ruined my perfect script. Didn't you hear the crowd? They wanted to hear the real story of Leonidas. I should know. He was my grandfather. <laughs> you never stop performing. I love that. You almost had me convinced, you joker. Here, you're part of the take. Thanks. Maybe I'm more of an actor than I thought. Okay. Get some good money. The show must go on. Holy poo. Alright, that was simple. And that's another um, Tales of Greece story. Her quest line done. So now, we could head to Arcadia. Meet our mother. Or we could head to Boetia. And I think it's time we head to Boethia and meet our brother. Because it's been a while. We need to meet our brother! Our stepbrother. Not really. Our adopted brother. We move up the next tier of mercy. That's right, I haven't even gone up the S2 tier, have I? I'm still on S1, I think. Or am I up S1 and haven't moved up S2? Let's, let's check real, real quick. So we're in S2, we just haven't moved up in S, uh, S, S2. I need to find that guy. Uh, I'm looking for you, man. I'm looking for you. You're all the way over there. Don't worry, eventually. Eventually. Alright, come on, Abraxas. Our brother awaits us on top of that hill on the other side. What's classified as a hill? And what's classified as a mountain? Is this a mountain? Or is it a hill? I honestly don't know. Like, there has to be a certain amount of feet or meters to be classified as a hill or a mountain. Is it a- if it's- is it a- isn't it like if it's above a hundred and a thousand meters, it's a mountain? Hmm. I'm not too sure. 
And then a valley is just in between two mountains. Would a valley also consist of in between two hills? Alright. Well, we're gonna meet our brother. Oh, hello, brother! How you doing? It's been a while. Okay, here we go. Hello, brother! I'm looking for... You! You! Stentor? Oh, punch my face, dude! I ain't got bloody nose. I'm here to help, you idiot. Not after Megaris. Not after what you did. King Archidamos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. Yep. Ha! You can't go against the king. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary. Yeah, 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 you pissed. The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the king sent you? I missed my brother. <laughs> I missed my new brother so much that when Archidamo sent me here, I jumped at the chance. Malaka. The wolf would have ended the war if it weren't for you. Your help will bring nothing but misery. What is and why are you here? Army doing in Viotia? Viotia. Athens, but Cleon took power and pushed us out. The king Viotia will weaken his position. All the right. wolf was gone. I was needed. I couldn't abandon my men. All right. You should, you should be glad I'm here. The gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that the writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. So are you. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. There are four Viotian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Dianira, Dianira? and Dragon. Think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. Oh, sure. I told you we could work this out. All right, then. I'll find these champions and put an end to them. Don't worry, brother. I got you. As easy as you think. But I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. All right. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta. All right. So where are these guys at? I know Dinera is uh Dinera. Stolen steed, brewing love. So it's part of another quest line. That's not it. Wait, where are the quests are we looking at? What closest quests are we looking at? Uh, here we go. So Dracon. So he's in Thebes. So Dracon is first then. Let's do this. These champions don't stand a chance against my might. The mercenary might of Cassandra. Grand Arthur of Leonidas. Daughter of the Wolf of Sparta. Brother, sister, I was gonna say brother. Sister to Demos. Wakey, wakey, where are you, Dracon of Genesian and Thebes? Yeah, go rough, Thebes. Alright, so there's like two quests here, also. I didn't even notice these new two new quests, so let's check these out. Real quick. I was about to say, that better not be Socrates. You come to steal from me too, Mistyos? Is that right. how you greet all your customers? I'm sorry. The soldiers have taken everything from me. Even my beloved Spiro. Spiro? Soldiers take what they want. Who is Spiro? Your horse? Only the best horse yep. I ever owned. I feel the same about my Phobos. We did everything together. He'd do anything for me. Even without the promise of a carrot. <laughs> He sounds like a true friend. true friend. I need him back to cart my shipments. 
Once Dracon finds out I can't get him his oil, I'm as good as dead. Dracon? Ooh, Dracon. The Viotian champion? He's my biggest customer. I'm trying to hunt him down. Save me from Dracon's wrath. Find my Spiro, please. I'll you spring Spiro so back. Badly, I'll find your Spiro. Be quick, please. Where did they take? They must have uh, him at the military big... camp. Snakehead Rock. All Looks right. like I have a horse. All right, so I gotta find a horse now. Oops. So that's the horse. A Pontines military camp. Athenian Pontines military camp. Makes you wonder. What if I just took this area for Sparta? Would it still be considered, you know, Spartan territory? I don't know. Maybe. All right, let's see this guy over here in the gymnasium. Right. A fool, Melanipos. A fool. Fool, Melanipos. Worse. I lost my one true love. My Dracon has found someone else. I just know it. He avoids me. And when we're together, he's always distracted. Sounds like it's over. I admit, it doesn't sound good. Even you think I've been replaced. But I can't let him go. He's my golden demigod. Then you must have a plan. I'm going to make a potion. It's a recipe that guarantees it. <laughs> oh, plan. we're gonna poison That's him. It's an honest way to save a relationship. It's simple. I'll borrow his precious armor for a few days, cut the inside, and let the potion seep through his skin straight to his heart. So, oh. Dracon will be left without his armor. Aren't you worried he'll be vulnerable? Oh, he's the strongest, most <laughs> man Oh, he'll be vulnerable, all right. He'll be fine without it. <laughs> he'll be fine without it. problem is the last ingredient. I need to buy the rarest heaven VOT of... I can find the herbalist. Thank you. Where will I find this? She lives on a farm west of... All right. I'll, I'll go, go find, find the herbalist for you. <sighs> Brewing love. Herbalist lives in Biotia. Scorched rolling plains. So, she's over here. Hey, Prasax pra Prasaxila's Admirer. Poet's Legacy. That's another one that we gotta do. Which is interesting, of course. But we got stuff to do here. <clears throat> Anyways. So we gotta find that one thing. So we're in the Scorched Plains already, right? We're in Scorched Plains. The farm has a huge silo with a red cloth on it. Well, there's huge silos everywhere, so you can't expect me to figure this out easily. Okay, Kekimos the Juvenile. It's gotta be that one, right? Now we're getting it up. So much devastation. Truly. It's red cloth on a silo. A tall silo. So near the center, so it's this way. Alright, herbalist. Tell me your natural cure. This looks like the place. And it's full of guards. It's time to murder some people. Don't! Don't! Then get her out of the house. You die if she doesn't. Bandits! What a surprise! All right, that's great. On the ground, please. Sorry, doggy. Uh, it's unfortunate that bandits don't really do that much to me right now. She's 
On the ground. Hey, that's rude. I'm trying to stay family friendly. Family friendly is impossible, though. So you're just gonna die. Knock, knock. They're gone. You can come out now. Thank you, Mircios. If you hadn't intervened, we'd surely be dead. They must have really wanted something from you. The farm. It's one of the few untouched by the war. Herbs aren't free, you know. They'd uproot them and sell them. Speaking of herbs, that's why I'm here. I need to buy one for a man named Melaniposh. Says he knows you. That troublemaker still wants to make the love potion. Well, he'll have it his way. I can sell you the herb he needs. But I saved you. I saved your farm. I feel like that deserves some gratitude. I have to make a living, don't I? Fine. Fine. Here, tell Melanipos to let it really suck in. Alright. So we got the good we got the good herbs. We got the good herbs. Anyways, I think we'll end this episode here. We're gonna we went past our time limit. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like down below. If you didn't comment below, did it? If you didn't comment below, did it? And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. Bell, 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 Ooh, hello. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day. <laughs>